Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your fifth Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about concatenation, which is something that is found in many different programming languages. And all concatenation is is a fancy word for saying combining uh, two or more things. So we can be combining two strings, for example, uh, or adding them to each other, um, whether they're stored in a variable or if they're just, you know, a string literal. Uh, we can be con concatenating variables together, a variable with a string, um, a variable with an integer, for example, and you know, so on and so forth. So I'm just going to show you how to go ahead and do that, how it could be useful, uh, as well as some things to look out for. So let's start uh, by creating two string variables. So we're going to say string uh, to define our string variable, and we'll call this one string one equals, and we'll say uh, we'll call the string. We'll say this is a string, and we'll create a second string. So string. And we'll call this one string two. Uh, very simple. This is another string. And let's go ahead and create also an integer variable. So int, and we'll call this int one. Uh, I should probably get a little bit more creative with the variable names, but um, we'll call this int. We'll say it's um, has a value of ten. And we'll also create a double. So double, and we'll call this double one equals five point six. So now we have four uh, variables, two of which are strings. One's an int and one is a double. And what we're going to do is let's print out the first string variable. So we'll say system.out.println and we're going to print string one. And let's go over here, compile this, save it, and see that right now we have uh, the printed out version of string one, which is this is a string. So that works fine and dandy, but let's say we want to go ahead and add string two to string one. So one way we could go about doing that would be to copy the string and paste it into string one. So copy whatever's in here and paste it into the um, this side of the string one. Or what we can do is what's called concatenation. So we can add them together. And the way to do that in Java is to simply just use a plus sign. So we can say string one plus string two. And what this is going to do is it's going to tell the compiler to print out string one, whatever's inside of here, and immediately follow that with whatever's inside of here. So Let's go ahead and save this, compile it, and run it. And you'll notice that we have whatever's in string one, so this is a string, followed by whatever's in string two, so this is another string. And you'll notice that there is no space here between this is um, a string and this is another string, because there's no space uh, within the actual string itself. So if we go ahead and add a space there, and come over here and compile and run again, you'll notice that now we do have a space. And concatenation is useful because if you have two things uh, and you don't want to go ahead and copy and paste them, you can just add them straight together. Um, and it just makes it a little bit easier. For example, let's say you're taking user input and you want to concatenate somebody's name to a, a string. You can go ahead and do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and see what happens if we try to concatenate a number, uh, an integer, for example, uh, onto a string. So we can say string one plus int one. And let's go ahead and see what happens when we compile and run this. You'll see this is a string and 10. Uh, let's try the same thing for double. So double one. And we will compile and run. And you see, this is a string 5.6. So, what happens if we try to concatenate int1 and double1 together? So, we'll say int1 plus double1. And if we come over here and uh, compile and run, you'll notice that we got 15.6, uh, which is actually what happens when you add int1 and double1 together. So, this isn't actually concatenation, this is an addition operation that's being performed here. And the reason that it it uh, adds them instead of concatenates them together is because they're both numeric val uh, values. So the way to fix this, if you wanted to have 10 and then 5.6 instead of adding them together, would be to concatenate on a space or an empty string literal, and then concatenate on the second number. So we have int one, and then to int, we're going to add to int one an empty um, an empty string, uh, and then we're going to add to that empty string the second number, so double one. So let's go ahead and run this here, and you notice that we have 105.6. And the reason for that is because we have 10 and then 5.6. So when put together, it looks like 105.6. So what we're going to do here is actually add a space. Um, and then you'll notice that it does not look like it's 105.6. It's 10 and then 5.6. Uh, you could also, if you want, uh, add a vertical bar or something like that, uh, just to separate the two numbers out. So. Uh, this is pretty much concatenation. This is how concatenation works in Java. Um, you could, for example, if you wanted to, add a second string. So we could say, uh, here comes another. And then 
concatenate it on. So basically you're free to do whatever you want with concatenation. Um, we can add another space there to make that look nicer. And you can just play around with it. it it's uh, pretty useful, especially if you're taking user input or if you're parsing information from a file and then trying to insert it into a program. You can just, instead of having to, you know, add it then automatically or combine it with a string, you just concatenate it right on uh, to the end. And, you know, there's no, no need to uh, have to type it in or anything like that. So feel free to play around with that. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. You can also comment uh, or send me a tweet on Twitter. I'm twitter.com slash jamiemcg, uh, or you can use twitter.com slash technicalcafe. And as always, thank you for watching.